right into this. Okay, so when we look at number um, 11, we find the degree, well, the highest exponent up here is 5, so my degree is 5. Okay, now always subtract 1 from your degree and you get 4. So if you were to graph this polynomial function, um, the maximum number of turns it would take would be 4. Okay, now am I saying My degree 
is 5, so my lead coefficient is positive. My degree is odd. So look in your notes. When you have an odd degree and a positive lead coefficient, you will go down to the left and rise to the right in the end. Now there might be some turns in between there, but at the end, that's what the graph will do. All right, moving on to number 21. Here's your lead coefficient right here. Here's your degree right here, highest exponent. All right, so my lead coefficient is positive. My degree is odd. So look in your notes and you will see when you have a odd degree positive lead coefficient, the graph will go down to the left and up to the right. I might make a bunch of turns in between there, but that's what it's going to do at the end. Um, falls to the left and rises to the right. Moving on to 22. All right. Negative 1 for the lead coefficient and 5 for my degree. So my lead coefficient is negative. My degree is odd. So look in your notes if you need to, okay? Whenever your degree is odd and the lead coefficient is negative, it's going to rise to the left and drop down to the right. There might be a bunch of curves in between, but at the end it will look like this, going up and going down. Uh, moving on to number 23. Okay, here's my lead coefficient, and here's my degree. So my lead coefficient is positive. My degree is odd. So look in your notes and you will see um, that means you'll go down to the left and up to the right. Might be a bunch of curves in between there and turns, but in the end, it will go down to the left and go up on the right side. Okay, number 24, last problem. Here's my lead coefficient, here's my degree. So my lead coefficient is positive. My degree is even. So if you'll look in your notes, you will see that means it will go up to the left and up to the right. Maybe a bunch of turns in here. Maybe not, but up to the left and up to the right. Okay? And that's it, guys. Pretty simple stuff. Just know your notes. Memorize the material well. And that's really going to help you later on when we get into graphing these polynomial functions. Um, <clears throat> you're going to need um, to know these character traits. Okay? Number of turns. Maximum number of turns and the end characteristics. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call or email.